Plata. And I'm Madison Helene. Welcome to our special holiday edition of The Edge. It's that time again. The culinary class, their annual Christmas buffet on Wednesday, December 9th. Our reporters take a closer look. Culinary Corner had their seasonal Christmas buffet December 9th. The culinary students at EdTech prepared the whole dinner, all the way from the holiday salad to the roasted turkey. Some students told us about the preparations they had made. We set up tables, we start cooking, we start mailing our invitations. We get everything ready in a week advance, or three days before. Not just parents were invited, all of Lapeer County was allowed to attend. Some happy looking customers told us about their experience. It was delicious as always. It's always an experience. The buffet was a success and a jolly way to share the holiday season. I'm Brianna Kitchen reporting for The Edge. The special ed students took a trip to Much's Hidden Pine Tree Farm on Wednesday, December 4th. They took this trip to learn about how a tree farm works. When they buy a tree, actually they here, most of them cut the tree themselves. We give them a wagon ride back to the field with their tree once they've cut it. Once the tree gets to the barn, we take it and we'll shake it in a shaker, shakes all the eight years, nine years worth of needles off it. We put it in one of these big balers, wraps the tree right up nice and neat so you can carry it in the house just nice and neat like that. So it's a lot easier to handle. If you're still in need of a Christmas tree, head on down to Much's Tree Farm on Newark Road in Lapeer. The special education classes bring Christmas joy to the hallways of EdTech as they get ready for the holidays. The Edge's Austin Canope Wooden has a story. Students and teachers of Rock, Super, and Bright are currently selling popcorn, making ornaments, and gingerbread houses to celebrate the holiday season. Our students in the Rock classroom are selling popcorn to go to camp in May. They have an overnight camp and they spend the night at a camp. And we've sold, I believe it's $1,300 so far in popcorn. We're halfway to our goal for all the students and chaperones to attend camp overnight for free. Each and every one of them had a joyful time creating their own unique decoration of ornaments and gingerbread houses to express their spirit of Christmas. Each design is an expression of their personality for people to enjoy and cherish, giving the teachers great pride for their students. Right now we're displaying it just in the classroom. Uh, we're having a holiday party this week, and so the kids can still, they get to look at it every day, they get to smell it, it still smells like cookies and candy, so um, it's all part of experiencing holiday traditions in different ways. As the year comes to an end, they take their memories of their success into the new year. I'm Austin Canope Wooden, reporting for The Edge. I think I'll stop by the show and get some popcorn. Sounds good, me too. And we might as well check out the culinary er, gingerbread houses. Sure, that sounds fun. We'll be right back after these messages with some holly jolly hashtags. Ho, ho, ho! Christmas grants from the bodega. Four for you, Glen Coco. You go, Glen Coco. Thank you, Gretchen. Okay, bye. <laughs> Which actor played the Grinch in the and how the Grinch stole Christmas? A. Johnny Depp. B. Tom Hanks. C. Jim Carrey. D. Boris Karloff. Tweet us your answers at the Edge LC. Dear Santa, my mommy lost her job and now we are forced to live in a big building with other kids and their mommies. Mommy said you won't make it to us this year because we are at home. I'm not worried about myself. My sister lost her dolly in the move, and she cries at night. Santa, please bring my sister another dolly. Please find us. Some can't afford a Christmas. Donate a new toy to the bin and IT net to give to a child in need. What's on the rocket? The 
are selling poinsettias. What? Kissing wall. What? I can't hear you. They're selling wreaths. Christmas items? Yeah. I remember when they first started making Christmas arrangements. Holly jolly Christmas arrangements. They're so cheerful. They're not any Christmas decorations. Yeah, they're made by agro-science. Agro-science, you say? I'll take them. Come on, you lazy Mary. Let's get desperate. Happy holidays. Jason with some hashtags that are sure to get you pumped for the holidays. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup recently released their new Christmas tree shaped chocolates in honor of the holidays. But people don't think that they look quite like Christmas trees. But Reese's responded to all the haters with a tweet that said, it's not about what it looks like, but what it tastes like. Hashtag, all trees are beautiful. Google has this thing called Santa Tracker, where you can see Santa before and on Christmas making and where he's delivering toys. If you're curious as to where Santa is on Christmas Eve, Hop on Google Santa Tracker and see where he is and where he's going. Hashtag Santa Stalker. There's a weird trend that's been emerging lately. Men with beards are deciding to decorate them for the holidays. People are using bells, wreaths, and gingerbread men to decorate their beards. Hashtag weird beard. Hashtag decorate the beards with boughs of holly. So everyone knows the most common Christmas songs, but have you been singing them wrong all along? Some common misheard lyrics are come, oh come froggy faithful, get dressed ye married gentlemen, and he's making a list, chicken and rice. Have you been singing these songs right? Hashtag Jingle Bells, Batman Smells. Back to you, Maddie and Alex. Be sure to join us for the next edition. Thanks for watching, and remember to follow us on Twitter at The Edge LC. Happy holidays, holidays to all, and to all, all a good, good night. night.